And we gathered here today as a family, the family that we are here in Garland, to welcome back Officer Granado and his son Fabian. Fabian was hospitalized for five and a half months due to COVID and it was a long battle. And we are very, very happy, blessed to have him back here in Texas. And so Granados is part of our family, been an SRO with Garland PD for many, many years. And we are grateful for him. Very caring, very supportive, uh, very knowledgeable. And so he has a lot to offer to our students in regards to life and about safety and about being somebody in the future. He's a wonderful man. Like I said, he dropped everything to come to Florida. He stayed by my side for the five, for the five and a half months I was there in Florida. Stayed by my side. Us two working together alongside made a stronger bond than we than I've ever had. And I, you know, we've already had we've already had a strong bond, but this this whole ordeal made us a lot stronger entity. He was able to take off however many hours he needed from work. He he, he was he saved up all of his sick time, and so because of that, he was able to stay with me. I just want to let y'all know, God is alive. He's working in all of us. I am a proving testament to that. To preface that my son had been diagnosed with COVID and he'd been in the hospital for about a week and a half in Jacksonville, Florida. So that's what an 18 hour drive from here. And for the past 22 years, I've been assigned as a school resource officer, which means I have five elementary schools that I work in. One of them being here at Caldwell Elementary. So after about a week and a half, I get a phone call saying it's time you need to come to Florida. My interpretation was I, I needed to go because my son was dying. So I'd lean on my faith. And in my faith, prayer is a key to a lot. And I also knew that prayer didn't have to just come for me. It had, I had to involve the community. In other words, my family, my friends, my fellow police officers. That's a huge, huge part of, of my strength and my resources. The school district, that's another huge part. <laughs> I tell you what, today, today's been a cool day. First of all, thank you everyone that, that, that helped make this. I mean, the principal. Ms. Sanchez here at Caldwell Elementary, uh, she opening her school to us. The police department, uh, particularly my lieutenant and everyone else. Coming today where they put a parade on for family and friends to drive through, see Fabian, talk to us. That was incredible. But I tell you what, you know what really hit me the hardest? Was when uh, all the little kids were in a little parade to come by. If you're a parent, you want work in the schools, what's the most important resource we have? Our kids. And this district knows that. My police friends, we know that. So seeing all these little kids come by, who I haven't been, I haven't interacted with little kids in a long time. Man, that, that brought some tears to my eyes.